Heat Shrink Crimp Terminal Wire Stripper Use a professional crimping tool for heat shrink connectors with ratcheting mechanism. Heat Shrink Fork Terminals Strip the wires to the proper length, no exceed the barrel. Now we have nice exposed cooper. Choose the right terminal for the wire. Insert the cooper strands into the barrel. Blue the blue. Put the terminal into the jaws. Wire terminals are crimped by squeezing the handle through a complete cycle. You can hear the ratchet. Apply heat evenly with a heat gun. Rotate the wire to keep them heated evenly. Let it fully cool down. Crimp seal ring terminals. Insert the exposed wire. Ratcheting mechanism creates uniform crimps and reduce the risk of damaging the heat shrink jacket. Apply heat evenly with a heat gun. You will see the tube strength down tightly. Do not have the heat source too close to the wire or concentrating that heat in one area too long. Let it cool down. Heat shrink quick disconnect terminals. Apply the connectors onto the bare wires. Red to red. Put the terminal into the correct jaw. Crimp it. Apply heat evenly with a heat gun. Let it cool down. Strip the wire insulation 1 half, minus 3 eighths. Give the exposed cooper a slight twist. Insert wire. Yellow to yellow. Heat shrink but splice terminals. They have long barrels, but there's a stop in the middle, and you can't push wire past that point. Insert all the cooper strands as much as you can into the barrel. Insert wires on each end until they reach the built in wire stop in the center. Two crimps are required, one for each wire. Be careful not to burn the butt splice or the wire insulation.
They are all cooled down. Nice tight connection. Test. The conductors can all be crimped together inside there and make a good connection with the surrounding barrel of the connector. You get a good all round electrical connection. Application. Loose the screw and put in the heat shrink fork terminals. These terminals are made from tin-plated copper.